What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how you can track your max bounty sales using Click Magic so that whenever, you know, if, if you have your tracking links and you're selling something and you're tracking it on Click Magic, you will be able to see that there is a sale show up on your Click Magic tracking link, which will allow you to see where exactly that sale came from, whether it's a keyword, whether it's a specific Facebook ad, whether it's a specific share you made, uh, you will be able to see all that. So we'll need to do two things for this. We'll need to change something within our link itself. Uh, and we'll need to put a special code in Max Bounty, and I will show you how to do all that. So here are all our links. Here's our Max Bounty link, for example, that I've put in. I've made a tracking link for that. So if I click on this, I should be redirected to uh, this page, right? As you saw in my previous video where I showed you how to do link cloaking. Um, so, so that's that. Then over here, here's a random Max Bounty offer I picked up. Uh, and as you can see here is really the spot where we, we need to put something, okay? So that something is what I'll show you right now using Click Magic. So uh, let's go back into our um, Click Click Magic here. So, so first thing we'll need to do is let's go into Tools. Let's go into Post Back Builder, all right? So I'm going to go here. So select your affiliate network. So this is pretty much going to be the same uh, process depending on what network you're in. Uh, but... Uh, the code itself will be a little different. So in this case, it's Max Bounty. Uh, so we'll select Max Bounty here, click on Select Network. And over here, they're going to give you this post back URL, okay? So all we're going to do is we're just going to copy this and we're going to paste it here. And you'll click Save Pixel. That is it for this part. You're done with the Max Bounty option. Now, um, if you want to kind of put this on every single Max Bounty offer so you don't have to do this individually, what you could do is if you go to your profile and if you go to Edit Profile on the top right, when you scroll all the way down, you should be able to see kind of this universal spot. So you'll have this same option there, but it's going to be universally applied to all of your uh, offers. So all you're going to do is just put in this exact same kind of little post back URL code uh, into that spot there, okay? So if you go on each individual offer, you can do it this way, uh, but that may get a bit tedious if you have a ton of offers. So I would recommend just going into profile, edit profile, and put this in there. It's going to apply everywhere. And then what you can do is just click use default uh, set that, um, use default callback, right? And that, that way it will apply that profile code for all of your campaigns. It's gonna be so much easier, okay? so. Now that we've done that, the, the only other thing we need to do is, see here it says we need to pass a unique sub ID to your Max Bounty affiliate link. So what we can do is just copy that. Let's go back to our links. And here's our Max Bounty link. So all you're gonna do is just literally copy paste that at the very end, click Save Changes, and it's not going to change anything. So your, um, your uh, site will still load, right? Um, so everything's gonna be fine there. But now when you make a sale, so when you actually, right, suppose I promote this on Facebook, and when you make a sale, that sale will show up here as one. And the cool thing about this is when you click on this, when you click on that little button there, right now I have nothing, uh, but it will say one sale and it will say what the source is. So if you're using sub IDs, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos a few months ago on, on Click Magic, I'll put a playlist up above, check it out if you're interested. But if you put in sub IDs to, to kind of determine what your traffic source is exactly, you'll be able to figure out where exactly the sale came from. So you can cut off everything that's not working and you can spend more time and you can scale um, the, the sources that are, right? But that's pretty much it. That's how you do it. It's very simple. Uh, it's pretty much the same process for ClickBank, for uh, Peerfly, for other networks like that. As you saw here, there's a ton of networks. Uh, I, I, I will make other videos, you know, short videos just to show you, but it's pretty much the same. So that's about it. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We cover a bunch of different online marketing tools on this channel, uh, tips, tricks, how-tos, reviews, um, and other than that, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.